Alexa Grasso versus Valentino Shevchenko. Two, the rematch. Keys to victory. Wrestle, wrestle, wrestle. Another key to victory for Shevchenko is don't throw any spinning back kicks. Don't throw any spinning elbows. Just don't spin. All right, don't spin. Do not spin. Don't spin tonight, okay? First fight, Shevchenko was up 29 to 28 on all three judges' scorecards. Remember that. In round one, Grasso landed very heavy, clean left hands right on Shevchenko's chin. You have to remember that because those are very important punches. I think that Grasso's high guard and always covering her chin made it very difficult for Shevchenko to land anything clean and really getting the ball rolling on securing her title. Even though the scorecards said that Shevchenko won round one, I gave round one to Grasso just based on the fact of those three heavy left hands that she landed. They were clean and I think they did enough damage to secure that round. Not, not only that, but she did hold the champ up against the cage in the final 20 seconds and she was landing some shots and then she was landing some significant knees. So I definitely gave round one to Grasso. Personally, I don't really think the champ was able to get going. Even when she got the takedowns, she had a little bit of success, but Grasso was ultimately able to get back to her feet and get back in front of her with the high guard. The problem here is that Shevchenko is a counter striker. Grasso was getting in front of her, but instead of getting in front of her and throwing a strike to which Shevchenko can slip and counter or step back and counter, she would get in front of her and just kind of do nothing. And that really confuses, that confuses these counter strikers. And we've seen a similar tactic used against uh, Adesanya versus Strickland, where he won the title last week. A lot of people don't know what I'm talking about when I say they do nothing. No, no, not do nothing. Of course they do something. It's They do nothing in a sense that they get in front of them and instead of instead of getting right in front and then throwing a punch, they get in front and then they kind of just they don't they don't do and they they do nothing but like throwing a punch. They do nothing. They don't they don't throw a punch. That's what I mean by do nothing. So they get in front of them and they'll either faint, right, move their head a little bit, step back, but they they do nothing, meaning they don't throw a punch. And these counter punchers or counter strikers have a real hard time dealing with that. And you've seen that a lot in the first fight, and you're probably going to see it a lot in this fight too. So as soon as you see Alexa Grasso get in front of Shevchenko in this second fight, and if she starts doing that, and doing nothing, and keeping them hands up, you know Shevchenko's gonna have big problems. Now, according to the judges' scorecards, Valentino was winning until she got choked out. But she got choked out because she threw that back kick that ultimately led to Grasso taking her back and securing the guillotine. Now here's why I think she found herself in that position because she wasn't having any success with her normal counter striking because of that high guard. So she had to resort to the takedowns. And the takedowns, she wasn't having great success either. And we're already in round four, so the champ was starting to get a little tired. So she was running out of ideas. That's why she threw a risky kick. And she, and, and she did the same kick a couple minutes earlier in the same round, but she missed by a, a wide, she missed by a wide uh, distance with the same back kick, the spinning back kick, she missed it. She was running out of ideas. That's what I think led to that guillotine. How do I know that she was getting tired? Because her takedowns were getting telegraphed and she also got stuffed in round four. She went for a takedown and Grasso stuffed it, which was a big problem moving forward. So she ran out of ideas and decided to throw a risky spinning back kick that led to her losing oh her title. No. Another factor we need to think about is in round three, when the champ had a dominant position on Grasso, top control, the referee stood them up. Why did he do that? I don't know. If you know why he did that, let me know. Because I don't know why he did that. She was landing punches. So that could have been a factor in why she lost the fight. Alexa Grasso's keys to victories. I think Grasso just has to keep using that jab. Use the jab to get in and then throw that big left hand. But before she does that, get in front of Shevchenko and do nothing. Get in front of her, do nothing. Nothing. What do I mean by do nothing? Don't throw a punch. Throw some feints, do some head movement, take a step back, move to the sides, do nothing. That's it. Let her make the mistake. Just like a, in a tennis match. Let your opponent make the mistake. And another way that Grasso can hold on to her belt tonight is by avoiding the takedowns. Don't get taken down so easily. She got taken down pretty easily in the first fight, so just 
Don't overcommit to where you're right in front of her and she can drop and take you down. So avoid the takedown. Shevchenko's keys to victory. Wrestle, wrestle, wrestle. Do not have a stand-up match against Grasso. I think if she has a stand-up match against Grasso, I think that using those techniques and strategies I just talked about, plus the fact that she's the champ now, and you're always, you always get better when you become champion. That's what history has shown us. She's gonna be more confident, all right? She's gonna be more willing to take a little bit more risks and throw a little bit more power on her strikes. I think that if Shevchenko stands in front of her and has a stand-up battle with Grasso, I think she could get knocked out tonight. So do not stand and trade with her. Wrestle, wrestle, wrestle. Another key to victory for Shevchenko is don't throw any spinning back kicks. Don't throw any spinning elbows. Just don't spin. All right, don't spin. Do not spin. Don't spin tonight, okay? My official prediction, this is gonna be a tough one. I'm not even I'm not even 100% sure on this one, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the, the deuces wild on this one. I'm gonna say that Shevchenko is gonna lose by stoppage tonight. Knockout. Alexa Grasso wins the rematch by knockout. That's my prediction. Like and subscribe. Nicholas Cirillo here, director and producer of A Real Life Underdog Story, out now on Amazon Prime Video.